KRMS. Viper Communications, its employees, guests, and or sponsors are not responsible for any actions that may occur as the result of the information station. KRMS. Osage Beach. It's time for the Lakefront Living Realty radio show on News Talk KRMS. Lakefront Living Realty is Missouri's only real estate firm focused solely on lakefront and lake access properties, changing lives one lake house at a time. So let's talk the waterfront lifestyle. Please welcome owner broker Annie Falstich and her guests for today's program. Welcome to the Lakefront Living Real Estate Show, your trusted guide to buying or selling property at Lake of the Ozarks, where every day is a lake day. I'm Annie Falstage, owner broker of Lakefront Living Realty, Missouri's only exclusive lakefront lake access brokerage, where we're changing lives one lake house at a time. Welcome back. I hope everyone is off to a fantastic weekend. It's hard to believe that we are well into the holiday season at this point. The Real estate market has continued to stay steady as we head into the end of the year. New properties are coming on the market every week, and we are still putting multiple properties under contract weekly. So stay tuned because we always have an exciting new listing to tell you about later in the show during our featured listing segment. I will be talking investments and 1031 exchanges later in the show, so stay tuned. Each week, I like to talk about topics that typically affect buyers and sellers, giving you, the listeners, answers to your most common questions. I will always continue to ask you to call the office or myself directly anytime with any further questions you may have, possibly on one of the shows, or if there is someone or a certain topic that you like you would like to hear us cover. So always reach out to us, lakefrontliving.com. You can call the office anytime at 573-693-1613. As always, if you're not able to catch the entire show today or missed any of the previous shows, you can listen anytime on our YouTube channel, Lakefront Living Realty Missouri. There you can also subscribe to catch our popular tip of the week videos. I am excited to have Catalyst Electric back in the studio to talk to us about several things involving your lake home and dock electrical. I have co-owners, master and journeyman licensed electricians, John Bussey and Seth Agnew, owners of Catalyst Electric in the studio today. John, I know you joined us earlier this year to talk specifically dock electrical codes when we had dock lifeguard on the show, I believe, as well. But um, how about you both give the listeners some background on yourselves and Catalyst Electric? Sure. Well, I'll start because I'm older. Um, (laughs) I am a a lake resident since I was, gosh, five years old, something like that, and have grown up and have seen a lot of changes around here. Went to Camdenton High School, took the trades, electrical trades program at the uh, tech center there in Camdenton, and um, got married when I was 24 and, uh, uh, Seth is my brother-in-law also. And he kind of got me, uh, my first job, excuse me. <clears throat> and, uh, we were working together and we decided to open a company and that was 2007, eight. And, uh, since then we've grown and grown and uh, become the company we are today. My name is Seth Agnew. I'm one of the other owners of Catalyst Electric. I've been here at the lake area for about 15, 16 years or so. Um, Yep, brother-in-law is with John, so um, definitely we've had the relationship for a lot of years now and gotten to know each other. Um, Married his sister uh, 15 years ago or so, Um, and so we've been in the area building our business and um, just really grateful for everything that that we've got and... um, Glad to be here today and speaking about everything that we can to help encourage people and um, enlighten people about stuff about dock safety and things of that nature. Yeah, perfect. Well, if you go to your website, you'll not miss all of the awards and accolades your company has won locally over the years. Uh, Seth, tell us about that national championship runner-up you received recently. I saw a lot of buzz around that, and I'm going to make you toot your own horn for a minute. (laughs) <laughs> sure. Um, so, yeah, I've been part of a, a national uh, wiring competition f- over the last three years. This year was the first year it was um, more of an international competition. I was competing 
with the top 70 electricians across all of North America, uh, Canada, Mexico, and the U.S. Uh, so went down to Florida uh, here a couple weeks ago and ended up placing second in all of North America. So came home with some prize money and uh, it was just quite quite a big event. Uh, I'm definitely honored to be part of that and compete with, with the best of the best. So it's pretty awesome. Well, congratulations. That is awesome. Um, and something, yeah, you should definitely be proud of. I, I want to emphasize that with your company, and that's why we've had you on before. Um, we, we deal with that, obviously, with a lot of different contractors around the lake in whatever realm they're in, but that you all are licensed electricians and um, that your employees also have you know significant training in the job that they're doing give me a little bit more insight on that either one of you sure well we uh, always try to keep up the code changes every three years so we try to seth and i will update ourselves and note the new requirements or changes that are in the code and communicate that to our guys and we uh, try to take the time to train the guys of course it's a lot of it's on the job and mm-hmm. so we try to make sure that we've got the best um, teacher for the person who's, you know, because different personalities will jive together better. So try to set them up with um, with people who can teach them. And uh, our crew now, we've got a really good crew. And uh, we do all the safety training that we're required. Um, and, of course, carry insurance and workers' comp and all that sort of thing. Uh, and we will be sending with uh, the organization that has started, Lake Ozark Association of Electrical Contractors, all of our guys will be going through that once the training curriculum is done and dates are set so that we can further their knowledge and so that we can provide a superior service to our customers. Yeah. Let's talk about that a little bit more. Um, we were going to kind of update. We Last time you were on the show, you did talk about that um, association correct so give us uh the listeners anybody that missed that show or listened and kind of want an update of what's going on with that so uh loz aec is an organization that um we started um i'm the vice president of the organization along with michael boyd and brad davis um and so we've been working together um developing a training curriculum to help electricians in this area specific to the area for lake wiring um and so we have been working with the different fire districts and with Ameren and, and such to develop this training. And um, we are excited to announce um, our training curriculum is going to be coming out um, to the public or to the electricians in the area, I guess you could say. Um, coming here, I think, in the beginning of February, we're going to be doing our first large class of, of training and presenting certifications. Um, there were some of us that went through the training just a couple, um, I think last month sometime to kind of do the first round of training and, and break things in. And so we're really excited about the prospect of that and just excited about making this, the lake a, a safer place as far as wiring and docks. Yeah. And if I could add to that, I got to take my hat off to, uh, Amron, uh, for, uh, giving an engineer for the help writing the curriculum, but also to teach the course. It was really a good, uh, good thing for us to do. And it'll, be good for the lake yeah that's what's most important i mean obviously keeping people safe and we talk about that a lot on the show um and for the lakefront homeowners so it i mean that is huge that amarin stepped up to become a part of it and and back you all in doing that so um i commend you for putting that together and helping uh, the rest of the lake community and you know not just for yourselves obviously but for the rest of the lake area electricians to become a part of that and become involved with that so that so that they can also you know stay on top of uh, what they're doing so that it is best for the lakefront homeowners so Mm -hmm. um, thanks for that update i'm excited to hear more about that and as that continues to grow i'm sure this upcoming year but Um, Of course, we are speaking directly to Lakefront and Lake Access homeowners here at Lakefront Living Realty Radio Show. So we, um, I mean, I'm sure that we mention or cover concerns regarding docs literally every week I talk about docs. So today is no different. I want to touch on the subject of dock electrical, of course, because it's, you know, being such a huge topic for our lakefront ownership. 
So let's get into a little bit of that dock electrical. Um, what should a homeowner know, maybe watch out for, you know, or do with their dock regarding electrical updates and codes? Well, I would say every time you go onto your dock, test your breaker and look at your system for any um, issues that you can see that are obvious, and then call an electrician to inspect your dock every year or even twice a year just to make sure because with the movement of docks, stuff can get damaged pretty easily. Yeah. Well, with that, um, shoot, it's already time for a short break. <laughs> it's going so fast. Well, the we will be right back to talk more about dock electrical and different electrical things that you can look out for on your lakefront or lake access property on the Lakefront Living radio show on News Talk KRMS, 1150 AM, 97.5 FM, and 103.3 FM on HD3 at 93.5 FM. Plus, if you have Alexa, say play KRMS radio to listen live. We'll be right back. Welcome back. Thanks for listening to the Lakefront Living Realty radio show on News Talk KRMS. Once again, here's owner broker Annie Falstitch. Welcome back to the Lakefront Living Real Estate Show, your trusted guide to buying or selling property at Lake of the Ozarks, where every day is a lake day. Again, I'm Annie Falstage, owner broker of Lakefront Living Realty, Missouri's only exclusive lakefront lake access brokerage. If you missed the first part of the show, we are back talking with Catalyst Electric. We have co-owners John Bussey and Seth Agnew in the station with us today. So I'm super excited to have you all in. I mean, like I said, we're, we're talking um, about docks at pretty much every week on the show. There's, you know, when, when we're talking lakefront um, owners, sellers, buyers, um, something always comes up about the dock. So that's where we left off just before the break talking about um, some dock electrical. And there's several things we're going to talk about today, but of course, being that that is a huge piece of the puzzle when owning lakefront property and one of the biggest reasons that people do choose Lake of the Ozarks to own lakefront property because they can have their own private dock. Um, that becomes uh, definitely an area of concern and question, you know, daily, quite often in our business. So, John, you kind of mentioned some of those things for homeowners to, you know, to look for and to watch out for, but, you know, kind of touch on that a little bit more. What I want to know, too, is um, you said, you know, those codes change every few years. Mm-hmm. I mean, is there a standard that people should, as a as a homeowner, is that, you know, every three years? What do you all recommend for people to keep an eye on their dock electrical? Well, I, I really think that every time you walk onto your dock, because, you know, there have been deaths associated with dock electrical, always test your GFI um, and look at your system, like I was saying. And the codes, uh, the national code changes every three years, but the fire departments and the inspecting authorities around here have updated every year, maybe something small, a new requirement that they're requiring. So uh, it could be that it's a minor fix, like mm-hmm. changing out uh, outlets to weather resistant types or strapping some conduit, but it does change. We have a meeting every gosh, is it spring, I guess, Um, where the fire departments and uh, electrical contractors can voluntarily come and kind of talk about the changes that are happening and kind of discuss ideas and how to improve the inspection process and that sort of thing. So really every year, you know, there's a potential for change. And uh, most electrical contractors, including us, will offer a free inspection. So have us out before you come down for the season. Um, We can look at your dock, uh, do the visual inspection, open up boxes, make sure your wiring's accurate or good and safe, and uh, test everything out for you so you know, at least at that point, that it was safe. Okay. Um, You all, I know, cover the entire lake area. Mm -hmm. So talk to me about any, you know, the listeners that may not already know that there are, there's not a necessarily a standard across the board you know and you can correct me if I'm wrong in my verbiage here but that the different uh, fire departments you know kind of mandate that but we it it spreads across you know lake wide in, in many different uh, districts absolutely there's 
I can't I can't even think of how many jurisdictions <laughs> there are and there's even some unpermitted areas of the lake here so really some areas are are covered by the fire fire jurisdictions but some are unpermitted areas where nobody has inspecting authority mm-hmm. so that's where um, you know with the organization and trying to train electricians better to to, to look for the things that are safety concerns within grounding and testing you know grounding and, and safe safe equipment grounding paths and things of that nature. Um, it's super important to have an electrician that you can rely on um, to, to look outside of these areas that aren't, you know, that aren't, that are outside of the jurisdiction um, mm-hmm. regardless. But I would say definitely checking in with, with fire districts on a yearly basis, um, checking to see if there's any, any code changes or things of that nature. Uh, their annual meeting is um, for the entire lake area is in January uh, every year. Awesome. And we, like I said, spoke um, earlier this year on a show when John from Catalyst Electric joined us as well, talking about that DOC lifeguard. And and I'll recommend that one again to to take a look at if you haven't checked that out and you do have a personal DOC. I think it's a great tool um, to keep you informed if you are having any electrical issues, which then would prompt you, of course, to uh, call Catalyst Electric or Licensed ele- Electrician to come out and take a look. But with that being said, and, you know, talking about covering all areas of the lake, some in and out of different jurisdictions, always work with a lakefront specialist is, of course, what we recommend when buying or selling property so that you have an agent that you're working with that is familiar with these different processes so that we can help walk you through that so that you're not making a mistake on the lake. Let's talk about a little bit about de-icers quickly Mm -hmm. um, because that's something we're getting into. I mean, it's, it's here whether we like it or not. (laughs) Um, The not so good season of lakefront owning, but um, people are, they ask about de-icers. I don't know if that's something that you all install and work on a lot. I think you've actually worked on some of um, of my listings, de-icers or different things, and or at least help people know if they're working, what they should have. I'll let you kind of take it from there. Yeah, uh, you can buy a de-icer. Bowling Electric in Camdenton has them, I think, on the shelf. You can get them. Uh, one issue we run into with some of the older dock de-icers is the connectors are either incorrect, and so they allow water into the motor housing, which can cause an issue and trip your breaker, which then your de-icer wouldn't work because it's plugged into the electric. So it's good to, if you're down, put it in the water, make sure that it's bubbling, and if, if we need to go take a look at it uh, for you, if you're not down and you need someone to, we will. But uh, that is... a fairly frequent issue is on the older de-icers and even some of the newer ones um, the the connection isn't right it's not watertight and so it causes an issue with that de-icer but yeah you definitely want one <laughs> yeah remember that time um, one of the de-icers that we had on one of our listings at uh, you went out to check on it for us and a turtle got stuck in it or two turtles <laughs> yeah two or three it was a sad day it was, <laughs> it was a sad was, day. <laughs> I, I shouldn't laugh that was a sad day <laughs> It's strange. I mean, you just really, you never know. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and I think it was causing the breaker to trip because the motor had uh, locked up because it couldn't get through the turtle. Not yeah. to be too graphic or anything. But. <laughs> yeah, not. I mean, not something somebody is thinking about, and mm-hmm. I would have never thought about. And again, you know, our homeowners were not around or not home. So thankfully, I could call Catalyst Electric to come out and, you know, figure out what the issue was, but to make sure that we didn't have any further damage Mm -hmm. on the dock um, by having that de-icer not work or potentially, you know, could that cause more issues electrically? Well, it it potentially could. I mean, the thing is you want to protect your dock structure if it gets ice around it. I mean, just with the way that these docks move, um, it can be a big problem if you got ice built up and not allowing it to move as it should. So uh, I'd recommend one for sure. Okay. Yep. We're in that season. So definitely take a look at your de-icers. If, if you've had the same de-icer down there since 1982, you know, might want to take a look at that or, or call Catalyst Electric to have them out or ask, ask questions about that. I know our friends at Rough Water Docks also install uh, de-icers. So if you're looking for somebody to come out and do the installation, they'd be somebody to talk to as well. Um, lighting upgrades. Let's get into some of that. Oh boy. That's one of our favorites actually. (laughs) Uh, 
uh, Seth can speak to it a little bit too, um, but you can work with your utilities. Each utility kind of has a, a different process of getting some money back for the installation and the fixtures and things like that. But uh, we work with the guy out of Jefferson City who um, supplies our lights for us, and he'll come in with us and kind of do a survey of the building and say, okay, this is how many fixtures you need, this is the type, and this is the amount of money you'll get back. And we've done several projects around here. Yeah, one thing to note is with Ameren's rebates and some of the other utility rebates, um, it's more for commercial projects for the most part, um, although there are some some obviously price breaks for being able to buy LEDs and, and things of that nature through um, Ameren's Act on Energy program, but it's certainly something that is um, – very cost effective um, to, to be part of. That's what I was going to ask about that. If it was strictly for commercial in, in that aspect, or, you know, is there anything residential that you can do for any of that lighting upgrade other than switching out? As far as the rebate and a, and a cost savings um, with residential, the way Ameren has it designed is through the box stores. There um, has been some special pricing for LEDs and such through some of the box stores, but they don't offer rebates es- essentially similar to the um, commercial program that they do. Right. Gotcha. Okay. Um, yeah. So if you've got that commercial um, buildings out there, obviously around Lake of the Ozarks, take a look at that. But we'll talk a little bit more about residential side as well. I know um, my husband's obsessed with the lights and the, the, everything has to be switched over to LED now <laughs> Stay mm-hmm. and calculates all the savings um, at the at the end of the month on our bill. So it really is there. But we're going to take another quick break. Stay with us on the Lakefront Living Realty Radio Show, News Talk KRMS. You can always reach us at lakefrontliving.com. We'll be right back. Hi, I'm Haley Glover, Realtor and Lakefront Specialist with Lakefront Living Realty at Lake of the Ozarks. You can find me at lakefrontliving.com. Call 913-638-7798. Or email me directly at Haley at LakefrontLiving.com. Let me share with you how we differ from any other brokerage at the lake and how I can assist you to get your property sold. Welcome back. Thanks for listening to the Lakefront Living Realty radio show on News Talk KRMS. Once again, here's owner broker Annie Falstich. Welcome back to the Lakefront Living Real Estate Show, your trusted guide to buying or selling property at Lake of the Ozarks, where every day is a lake day. Again, I'm Annie Falstage, owner broker of Lakefront Living Realty, Missouri's only exclusive Lakefront Lake Access brokerage. We are talking um, to electricians, Catalyst Electric today, um, here, local company, you guys' trucks are everywhere, I mean, which is awesome to see. I always, uh, I'm all over the lake as well, and I feel like I, I probably see a dozen, you know, of, of your vans running around um, the lake daily. So obviously that's a good testament to your, you know, ability to grow and the service that you're providing to the lake. So if you missed any part of the previous show. Always remember that the following week you can catch the uh, entire show at your leisure on our YouTube channel, Lakefront Living Realty Missouri, or any of the previous shows. If there's ever anybody that you would like to hear from or questions that you directly have on one of the shows, please contact me directly. You can always catch me on my cell phone, 573-216-4350. Or, of course, lakefrontliving.com. But we have John Bussey and Seth Agnew, co-owners of Catalyst Electric, in the studio today. We've been talking about Doc Electrical, of course, is something that we talk about often on the show. Just docks in general. That's a huge part of buying and selling lakefront or lake access property. I mean, we're, we've kind of focused on residential docks um, on the show so far, but obviously you all take care of a lot of commercial docks because we sell a ton of lake access property that um, involve a community dock. And then of course, condominiums, Mm -hmm. you know, is is a huge market of ours. And um, in that aspect, you know, the homeowner themselves individually is not necessarily taking care of 
of the DOC or the DOC Electrical, but it's your homeowners association. But you as the homeowner, being part of that homeowners association, you know, do have a say um, in that and and can suggest that. But that's something that you all take care of as well, I know. Yeah, absolutely. In fact, a lot of times uh, boards will meet in the fall and they would like to know, have their docs inspected and say, how much is it going to be to bring this to code or are there any issues? And so we'll go out there, provide that estimate for them for one doc or all the docs, and they can talk amongst themselves and decide, well, we'll hold off or let's write this in the uh, new fees or whatever they call them Mm -hmm. um, so that we can get this taken care of in the next year or two or three and get a plan together. Do you have any type of maintenance program that you do? I know we talk a lot about there there are dock maintenance, you know, as far as the dock builders um, have a lot of programs where they come out on an, you know, annual or, you know, twice a year to check. Is that something that you all do or is it more of a, if, you know, look to see if you've got an issue? Yeah, usually we're called out to look to see if there's an issue or to give an estimate. I mean, we're happy to schedule with an HOA or a condo association or whatever, a trip out there yearly or once in the spring and once in the fall sort of a thing. But typically it's case by case. Hey, we need to look at our docs and see what's wrong if there's anything kind of a deal yeah perfect um we'll keep those tips in mind from catalyst electric please when you you know like he's uh john mentioned which is a great idea i mean, just every time you go down to the dock now that you do have those um switches right at the ramp or yeah, the GFI shoreline breakers. yeah check that out um it's it would be easy to do now that now that they're a little bit taller i think and they're right there <laughs> yeah. at the shoreline um all those changes that we've seen so we mentioned de-icers and we also talked a little bit about um lighting upgrades which is a switch over to more of the commercial side but that was uh interesting to me to hear from you all in the last couple of years i mean they're significant is you know you've really made an impact on saying yeah, as a commercial building owner, it's a significant savings and rebates that they're giving out. Um, and again, as you know, as as the lake is, we're not covering. You know, we're covering multiple different uh, fire districts. We're covering multiple different utility companies as well. So you all work with all of that. You know, all of those. I'm That's right. Yeah. And typically, each utility has like like I was saying earlier, their own way that they go about the uh, rebates and incentives and things but they do offer them and we'll go to the site count the lights and that sort of thing and do all the paperwork for the owner all we need is their bill typically to get that started and seth can speak to that a little bit more um we've done uh, some bigger projects that is you'll get a return on investment that's sometimes what a year and a half two years yeah we've had some projects that are as little as one year for for a return on investment most of the co-ops will pay for typically about 40 percent of the cost of the actual leds and then it's up to the owner of course to pay for the rest of the cost of the leds and then the electrician to install them Um, however amarin's more based on wattage savings and kilowatt savings and things of that nature but we definitely will provide you with an roi Um, Along with that, there are some other rebates, not just for lighting. There's rebates out there on a federal level for things like solar. Solar solar electric, uh, Ameren is providing uh, a rebate program currently of $0.25 per watt installed of solar, which is another thing um, that we've been starting to do in the residential and commercial market um, for lakefront because, well, the lakes is kind of a sunny place. Yeah, well, that I was going to ask about that on utility rebates and ask if that is still strictly for commercial or if or if you're seeing some of those options move into residential there yeah really the only residential options would be some of the equipment upgrades in regard to hvac equipment um you know air conditioners and efficiency on appliances and then also the the solar market right now is kind of across the board residential uh, or commercial, plus it's a 30% federal tax rebate um, till the end of the year, and then it steps down to, I believe, 26% next year. Awesome. Are you are you seeing some of that solar upgrade? We, yeah. we definitely are seeing a lot more um, a lot more interest in the solar market. We just became uh, solar certified this year, um, so we're looking to go go after that within within the market and try to provide a superior product here locally. Um, at the lake area, but definitely I, I talked to one of the 
one of the co-ops last week, and he said in the last probably three months they've had more applicants for solar electric than they have in the last three and a half years. So it's it's gaining a lot of momentum, and certainly there's a lot of uh, it, it's definitely going to be something big in our market. I think. And I've yeah, I've been asked that question more lately from you know my lakefront home buyers as well. Um, you know, and I, that's something I need to get myself a little bit more educated on. We've talked about it at our own house personally, but people ask me a lot about, um, uh, or question why we don't have more solar panels on the docks mm-hmm. or on top of the dock. And that's something that we are currently in the process of meeting with Ameren right now. I'm, I'm personally meeting with Ameren on that in regards to solar and, and safety and things of that nature. Cause docks are, it's a nice wide open roof space ready for solar. Um, also a lot of the lake foams, you know, have South facing roofs and, and yeah. good facing roofs and high above shading and trees and things like that. So that's something we definitely can provide a free analysis on, on your site. If you guys are, awesome. if it's something that you have clients that are interested in. So you think that dock roof may someday be an option? I think it's definitely going to be an option before, before long. I can't say what yeah. Ameren will and won't allow, but <laughs> but based on what I'm being told, um, I think it's definitely a, a viable option. We'll just make you know get your permit for it. And, uh... <laughs> well, and part of it too is the structure of the dock has to be built to met to Hold uh, the handle weight. the load of yeah. everything. So it's a kind of a cooperative effort in yeah. that respect. Mm-hmm. But of course, um, that would be another really nice option for for our lakefront homeowners. Um, we are. In the holiday season. Mm. <laughs> Happy holidays. Merry Christmas. <laughs> Everybody, we chatted about, uh, mentioned Clark Griswold um, on the break just previously. <laughs> but, I mean, it is true. Everybody's putting up holiday lights. Um, let's talk a little bit about landscape lighting, home lighting. I mean, we see a ton of that at the lake. Um, people that are even, you know, they utilize it year-round. Um, I know there's that really nice cruise that goes out touring the holiday lights and the dock lights um if you haven't done that with the celebration cruise it is a it is a fun evening um and something neat to see but there's a lot of families that participate in that decorating their home for the holidays on the lake side lakefront side and their dock as well but i'm sure you can give us a few tips or pointers on you know maybe that holiday lighting but of course talk to us about year round you know your low voltage uh, landscape lighting for homes sure well first of all make sure you're plugged into a gfci receptacle for your christmas lights and things <laughs> like that and maybe on the other side of the break we can get into the low voltage systems and things like that that music again means <laughs> here we are another short break but we will be right back so stay with us on the lakefront living Realty Radio Show, News Talk KRMS. We're going to continue talking a little bit about the electrical in your home, low voltage landscape lighting, and of course, we're going to go into our featured listing of the week. So stay with us. If you have Alexa, now you can say it. Play KRMS Radio to listen live. We'll be right back. Hi, I'm Stacy O'Neill. Realtor and Lakefront Specialist with Lakefront Living Realty at Lake of the Ozarks. Call or email me directly to put my love for the Lakefront lifestyle to work for you. Call 573-745-0946. Welcome back. Thanks for listening to the Lakefront Living Realty radio show on News Talk KRMS. Once again, here's owner-broker Annie Falstich. Welcome back to the Lakefront Living Real Estate Show, your trusted guide to buying or selling property at Lake of the Ozarks, where every day is a lake day. Again, I'm Annie Falstage, owner broker of Lakefront Living Realty, Missouri's only exclusive Lakefront Lake Access brokerage. We are back. We're talking to electricians and co-owners of Catalyst Electric, Seth Agnew and John Bussey today. Thanks, guys, again, for staying with me throughout the show today. We're definitely giving lakefront homeowners um, some good good advice and good tips on uh, electrical in their home. We cut you off right before the break. We got into low-voltage landscape lighting. Um, it, that's 
the outdoor lighting, I mean, has has been a huge thing for, for quite some time, but especially, you know, our lakefront homeowners who may or may not be here year round. I mean, they're still utilizing timers and different things to keep their landscape lighting going throughout the year or when they're not here. Talk to me a little bit more about that. Sure. Yeah, we um, we provide a, a low volt lighting package that has a lifetime warranty and it's a good build and it's pretty reasonable really for having a lifetime warranty uh, and the nice thing about low voltage lighting is it's flexible um, you can do a lot of neat things like highlight certain trees in your yard or just a path down to the dock or have some lanterns um, even deck steps we can put lights in the deck steps and what it does is it kind of focuses the light where you want it instead of having like a big post light that'll just kind of give a yeah a broad light a uh, broad light for your yard so it's really neat and it it really looks nice especially on some of these um uh lakefront properties that have the different levels of terraces and decks and these things mm-hmm. it, we can really make it look nice I'm sure with that obviously you work with new construction in the building process from there but um that's something then that you could come in if somebody was either remodeling or not doing anything at all and, and really working with the, you know, structure that they have in place currently? Most definitely. We have a lot of homeowners who are interested. They say, you know, hey, we're looking to move down here full time or maybe not even full time, but especially in the winter time, it, you know, I get home from work and it's dark and I, I you know, it's wonderful to have a nice path uh, to where you can see, you know, it's beautiful, it's it's functional. Um, we have a lot of people who are just looking for that functionality, that that nice aesthetic design of lighting, and we certainly come in after the fact. Um, we, you know, 20, 30 years old, whatever it is, the property will yeah. come in behind and put in a beautiful lighting system. Well, that's awesome. I, that was a feature, you know, or um, service that you all provided that I, I didn't know about or, or didn't think about. Um, so I think that is definitely a huge asset to any homeowner, uh, you know, much less lakefront or not. But um, definitely, do you all keep those then on, on recommend on timers or things? Yeah, we uh, you can control them a variety of ways. You can control it by a switch from your phone via the Wi-Fi mm-hmm. with a hub in your house. You can have it dusk to dawn. You can have it come on at dusk and then off after two hours or four hours. It's really, like I said, it's really flexible. There's not a whole lot of heavy wiring that's involved in that you can plug it into an, the transformer into an outlet on the outside of your house and just take it from there so you don't necessarily have to get back to the panel. So. Oh, awesome. And also from a security standpoint, um, being at night and, yeah. and a lot of people have cameras and things like that, it, it is nice to have a, a well-lit area to be able to kind of keep an eye on your lake home, especially as you're not around. So yeah, certainly another aspect that's pretty important. <laughs> For sure. Um, safety at the lake home. That's what we talk about a lot. (laughs) If you have a lake home, lake access home, or any home here at the lake, and you've got questions regarding your dock, your de-icer, maybe some utility rebates, or some of that low voltage landscape lighting, reach out to Catalyst Electric. What is the best way for listeners to reach you? Well, uh, you can call our phone, our office at 573 552-8488 and hit extension one you'll get jared our office manager and he'll direct you where you need to go whether it's an estimator or the service department and uh, we we also have a website of course www.catalystelectric.com and you can uh, type in an inquiry there and submit it via email and uh, text. I mean, there's, yeah. you know, there's, there's all a nice sorts of button, ways. isn't there, on your website? Go to Catalyst, CatalystElectric.com. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's a really nice site, by the way. And like I said, you can see all of your awards and accolades posted right there on the front page. But most importantly, it is an easy access button just to push from your phone and be directly connected to the office. Yeah, I was pretty stoked to get that on. <laughs> on, on the mobile site so you can just oh there's the green button i'll just call them instead of trying to yep. go through all this stuff so yeah we're we have a an office manager in five days a week so you should be uh, get someone and if you don't we'll get right back to you well it's no wonder you both have been so successful and have built a wonderful business your integrity 
and quality of work shine through. It is easy to see on your reviews, for sure, uh, Facebook, Google, and your website, how happy your clients are with your work and your work ethic. So keep up the good work. I wish you both the best for the new year, 2020. Can't believe it, but (laughs) always look forward to seeing your trucks servicing the Lake community. Yeah, thanks for having us today. Yes, yeah, thank you very it. much. Yeah, thanks for being on. We are down to our featured listing of the week. Everybody's um, excited to hear what's coming on the market. And like I said, even though we're into the winter, we are still putting properties on the market and we're definitely putting properties under contract. As I anticipated, last week's featured listing is under contract with a backup contract also. Several of our listings currently have backup contracts waiting in the wings. Christmas is nearly here and almost over, so get through a few more weeks. But if you have been considering selling, now is the time to give us a call and get that plan in place. The market is still great and interest rates are low. Earlier, I said I was going to talk about 1031 exchanges today. I wanted to touch on this as we are heading into the new year. The upcoming new year is a great time to get into an investment or rental property here at Lake of the Ozarks. It is not too late to have your property booked for several weeks of the year um, and really be income producing. If you have an investment or commercial property that you are selling in 2020, consider a lake home or condo to exchange. Of course, every situation is different and I will advise you to talk to your accountant, but first, a lake home or condo can be an awesome investment. Even without an exchange in place, now is the time to start looking at investment properties if you would like to have some rental income next year for investment or just to offset costs and expenses for your family. Again, always refer to your accountant on the best approach for you and your family. With investment and 1031 exchange in mind, I wanted to talk today about my listing at 571 Elbow K in the Tantara Estates. This home has some of the most incredible views you will find at the lake. Renovations have been done inside and out, selling turnkey, so there is literally nothing to do but start using or renting. Already having a huge following and repeat clients, this is a property that you can walk right into. Like I said, it sits on the cliff's edge with the most amazing 180 degree views you will enjoy year round. Three large bedroom suites, two living areas, This home sits off the street with plenty of parking, a golf cart garage with additional she shed, nestled privately on an oversized lot. New outdoor decks and a hot tub will be the spot to stay. Owners that live in the estates love it, they say. The sellers of this property actually stayed in the estates as well. I hear it all the time how they love the convenience of restaurants, pools, arcades, bowling, and water park in the winter for friends and family that visit. It's like their own resort. This is why the estates also make wonderful investment or rental properties. Families enjoy summer vacations here, and there are multiple conventions throughout the year, as well as golf outings that you can accommodate with those rentals. For a full listing description, past rental history, or to schedule a showing, call me directly, always anytime, 573 573- 216-4350. You can also see the listing at lakefrontliving.com or on our Facebook page, Lakefront Living Realty, Missouri. <clears throat> Excuse me. If you ever would like to talk directly to one of our lakefront specialists <clears throat> regarding selling your lakefront or lake access property, connect us <laughs> connect directly through lakefrontliving.com and go to the Missouri page. You could be our next week's featured listing. If you are curious of your home value, please do not look it up on Zillow and get your Zestimate. Go to lakefrontliving.com and use our patented calculator tool. We always talk about selling a like lifestyle at Lakefront Living Realty, keeping your home and dock up to date with electrical and your family safe all year round should be part of your plan. Give Catalyst Electric a call and put your mind at ease this upcoming year and bonus Keep a little bit of money in your pocket with energy efficiency. My family and I live and work to boat and enjoy all that Lake of the Ozarks has to offer. Real estate is truly my passion, so every day is a lake day. 
Until next week, enjoy family and friends this holiday season. Remember the reason for the season and do not waste another day talking about the lake home you've always wanted. Life is short. Buy that lake house now and start making the memories that you will cherish forever. See you next week. Tell a friend to join you next week and listen in to the Lakefront Living Realty Radio Show. Visit their website for more information, including current listings and agent contacts. www.lakefrontliving.com That's lakefrontliving.com Or call the office at 833-LK-FRONT That's 833-7668 833-7668 And join them next Saturday after the news at 11 a.m. on News Talk KRMS Osage Beach.